everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited that you're here today. I have this really cute welcome baby card to show you. Super simple card and we're going to use the Garden in Bloom stamp set and the Welcome Word stamp set. The Garden in Bloom stamp set can be found in the annual catalog and the um, Welcome Words is in the Occasions catalog. The Welcome Words stamp set will be going away so you need to get that by May 31st if you want it. We're going to use these colors today, which are Watermelon Wonder, Cucumber Crush, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. This is such a fun color combination because it's bright and cheery and beautiful and, <coughs> excuse me, and you can really just, just about make any card with this color combination. I'm using the stem from the Garden Bloom stamp set and stamped that in Cucumber Crush. And then I realized I needed to get my words stamped so that I wouldn't accidentally not have enough room for my welcome. So I'm stamping that in Watermelon Wonder, which is one of my very favorite colors. And then I'm going to stamp the baby in Bermuda Bay right underneath the welcome. Again, this is just such a cute stamp set and so versatile. Um, it has so many options for creating really, really cute welcome cards. Um, there's sentiments that say, welcome to our street. Um, you use that big welcome and then in small it says, to our street, to our world. <coughs> Lots of different cute stuff. <clears throat> so now I'm using the flowers from the Garden in Bloom stamp set and stamping it in Bermuda Bay. And... I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on there. And as you can see, it's a little bit lighter in spots. It's supposed to be that way. Um, it kind of gives a watercolor effect. And so don't stress if you see it like that. It's, it's supposed to be like that. And then I'm stamping the outline right over the top of it. So these stamp sets kind of remind me of like the 90s when it was really popular to outline everything. Um, lots of different images and... Um, clothing had like outlines on it and that trend is kind of coming back <clears throat> and it's always a trend that I thought was cute so I've kind of enjoyed it. I'm stamping the little leaves here in Cucumber Crush and then flipping that uh, clear block over to stamp the outlines. The one thing I enjoy about this is that you don't have to have super precise stamping right because the idea is kind of this very loose colored in look it's not so much perfection. So I really enjoy this kind of stamping and this kind of look. I just stamped that in Daffodil Delight, uh, that little yellow uh, flower, and then I'm gonna add the leaves to it and do the exact same thing, stamp, um, stamp them twice. And then the, this is a cute little butterfly and I'm stamping it in Watermelon Wonder. And so the little outline goes right over the top this whole stamp set is a two-step stamp set. Some of it's even three-step. So um, it's just a really fun set to use. And then I realized that I did not have the little leaves mounted onto a clear block for that one flower. <coughs> so I'm doing that now and just taking off my flower and adding my leaves. Super simple, super quick. Um, and again, all the guesswork is taken out for you. There's even a little arrow on the stamped image itself to show you which direction to stamp everything in and how to line it all up. So when I was done with my stamping, and hang tight because there's another card I want to show you. It's the same feel, it's just different. So um, I'm adding a few dimensionals here and peeling them off, and then I'm going to add them to a Bermuda Bay cardstock base that's cut at five and a half by eight and a half and then fold it in half to make an A2 size card. Um, and I'm just gonna pop it up right, uh, kind of center it on the card and pop it up. And then the other stamp set that I wanted to show you, um, or the, not stamp set, the other card is this one. So you can kind of see the difference <coughs> in the cards and um, they're really cute. Both of them are really cute, just very different from each other. So, um, you could play around with a stamp set like this and just make lots of variations of kind of the same card. And that's what I did. 
Then I decided that both of the cards needed some bling. So I added rhinestones to the flower and to the butterfly on this one. And then just to the little flowers on the other one. So once I got my rhinestones put on both of those, I felt like they were super cute and ready to go. Now I just have these sitting in my little stockpile of cards to send when a new baby arrives. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and like this video. You can watch these other two videos by clicking on the screen. Unless you're on an iPad or a device or a phone, you won't be able to click on these images. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.